Got way too many irons in the fire right now, so I need to start pumping some of this old material out. So what am I gonna do? I'm going to be finishing up the Centaur series. I have been busy today dealing with this switch dragon back here. It's been kicking my ass, but I finally got it all done. And the video for that will be coming to the straight down the middle page. So where did we last leave off? And I want to say where we last left off was the fact that we had the play field on the rotisserie next to the cabinet and we were unable to get the general illumination and the other lights to work. Everything else seemed to be functioning and working just fine, but for some reason, we did not have lights. So, long story short, we ended up finding out that the ground for this particular machine connects to the cabinet through the locking hinge that allows the play field to move freely up and down inside the cabinet. So since we did not have ground connected, then therefore we would not have any lights. So we were able to trace the ground wire to that hinge and then we noticed that, hey, uh, how about let's try alligator clipping the hinge to the ground on the cabinet and voila, everything lit up. So we're like, oh, well then that just basically solves all our problems right there. Jason is having to file off the excess clear coat that is around the areas for the rollovers. Now, if you don't do this, then your rollovers are gonna be very tight and they're gonna get pushed down and they're not gonna come back up without you having to do manual, physical pushing it back up. So he's gonna show you how to resolve that issue right here. So we're using a tapered file on both sides. getting this clear coat out of here so that our rollovers won't be hanging up <clears throat> it's just kind of standard for rollovers when you get a play field it's got clear coat on it otherwise you stick your rollover in there and it's going to stick and then you're not going to be able to get it up without tearing it up so clean them up buy extra rollover inserts <laughs> definitely i'm glad i bought the extra from CPR when I did this. Got a tester one right here that we've already snipped off the end so we can slide it in and out of there until they can smoothly go up and down. Yep, and I can I can see the clear coat, how it's got the hole closed up, so just taking it all the way out to the outer edge. And there you go, then your rollover targets are working appropriately. So now that we've got that issue all resolved, we're ready to slide this playfield back in the cabinet and get this thing completely put back together again. Let's start out by remembering how to put the trop area together, which we did not document that, so therefore we don't really know how to do that, so we're having to go back and forth at uh, any kind of possibility of what how to put it together. Well, we ended up figuring it out and we get the trough put back together again. And then we're gonna be working on the brackets that hold the play field to the lockdown receiver. So this is what we're working on now. Getting the lockdown receiver brackets perfectly in place to where the play field can slide in and out of the receiver without any issue. Look at this. All reflective and shiny. And, and think about this. How many 
centaurs have you seen with the white woods for the actual wood trim around inside the cabinet? I thought this actually gave it a nice look. I mean, it made it look like it was more of a prototype than an actual, you know, centaur game. I personally liked it. In the end, he eventually painted them black. But as of right now, I thought it was pretty nifty that they looked that way. This is without the plastics on, just kind of panning over, showing you what it looks like at this moment with all the lights working. technical difficulties on our first go around but that was easily repaired by messing with the connector the connector was bad so we fixed that so then it went back to working hundred percent so here it is we've gone this far guys we have gone all the way from a really crappy looking centaur to a questionably new off the showroom floor centaur on the inside I'm not looking at the cabinet don't look at the cabinet we're talking about the inside. You can't play the cabinet, guys. But as of right now, all he wanted was a good playing, solid centaur machine. And I think he's got one. I wish I had a much more accurate time frame on how many hours were put into this project. I would have to communicate that with Jason again. But I want to say easily, uh, man. 30 to 40 hours probably I'm gonna go with that I could be under exaggerating I could be over exaggerating uh, but I want to lean towards the 30 to 40 hour mark I'm gonna message uh, Jason and ask him how many hours we put into that thing he would have a better recollection of that than me and that's going to wrap up this Centaur Playfield Swap series. Thank you to all of you that decided to hang on and wait a little bit longer for this series to wrap up. I've already gotten many messages and compliments on how well we are doing and how well, basically, we have helped others on Playfield Swaps. If you like what you saw, give me that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, do not forget to hit that subscribe button down below. That way you can be notified of whenever I upload new content for your viewing pleasure. Until next time, guys. Peace out.